in three and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he must be loose a little season. All right, that's why the scriptures say the joy of a hypocrite is for a moment. We're in that season right now. All right, what did they do? They came, what did they teach in school? The renaissance, the renaissance, the rebirth. All right, oh, this is when uh, uh, everything before that was darkness and then, you know, Dark they skipped ages. through history. Yeah, yeah. Human just stopped making art. Yeah. Right. Human was, just stopped doing anything. Yeah, there was, there was no creativity and people were dark. You know, whatever. There were no higher think. There was no higher thinking. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Then we came on the scene and created all this math and science. And, you know, we created everything and we redid everything the right way. So now That's here we are as a as a, a, a gift from the Renaissance. That's what they teach, which is total bullshit. Right? That's what they that's what they teach you at these higher schools. You got to be a Renaissance man. Then they try to, you know, then they pair that with the classical arts. You got to know to speak this language and this. And all that stuff has been tailor-made by Esau Edom, all right? And then these other nations, they come over and they hear the same shit and they're deceived, like we were saying earlier. Now you got them in their country wearing a suit with the, with the same looking uh, uh, structure and the same rule and the same laws and shit, all right? Because they've been deceived. I got something real quick. I'm gonna just jump straight to the point. This is the book of Isaiah 14 and 16. It says, they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider these saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? And Esau Edom is the one that's doing this. By the way of his technology, by the way of his lies, he's destroying the whole world, you know? And these other nations, you know, is starting to look at this man, you know, finally realize that this man is the devil, yeah. you know? And all that technology was given to him. Yeah. So, behold, I've created the smith, the, 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 yeah, the, the gun and all that stuff, all the technology which they used, Again, to, to beat everybody else, the Lord gave them that technology, you know, during that time of the, of the Renaissance. They was able to get with China and get the gunpowder and all that shit. That was all through the Lord that they came into power, right? The scriptures say, what, well, time and chance happened to every man. Right? It, was, it was that time to rule. Mm -hmm. God. Uh, I got Obadiah 1 and 6, uh, 15. You got something, brother? You got to speak oh. up, box oh. shit. <laughs> Look at that I'm just a cameraman, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the young man the plan. Go. Yeah, go ahead, bro. You got it. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. These shakers should get a banish of us, for we are not entering of the devices. Yeah, you know, we're not entering of Esau, Edom, devices. You know? Right. And what, what's, what's the device? Right, all of his, uh, his ideas. Matter of fact, I'm going to get the word for devices. Uh, it says the Lord made man upright, but he had many inventions. <laughs> the word there is a false device, plan, purpose, yep. contrivance, intentions, plans, cunning, yep. curious work, yep. imagination, that means purpose, thought. So all these different thoughts. His agenda. His agenda, right. His agenda. <laughs> yep. Which is, which is all wickedness. Yep. I got some real quick. This is the book of Sirach, 12, 12 and 10. It says, I'm gonna write you one back. Project. This is the book of Sirach, 12 and 10. It says, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. Right, even going all the way back to the garden, this man is a crafty devil. What does the scripture say? Never trust thy enemy, you know, because he's, he's slick with it, you know? And that's the result of two-thirds of our people, you know, being all the way, you know, destroyed. You know, because what? They trust the enemy. Yep. He a smooth criminal, man. Uh, uh, there you go. You got know. Uh, yeah, this is Obadiah 1 and 15. For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. So not some, not most, but all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. 
All right, y'all gonna pay, uh, get paid back for what y'all done to us, man. All the heathen. All right, it's not just Esau. Yeah, he, he's top of the chain, food chain, but uh, everybody else too. All right, it said, for as ye have drunk it, drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they have not been. This is gonna be that ultimate payback, man. And we're gonna uh, pay you back double, man, what you've done to us. And it's gonna be beautiful, all right? And then, y'all heathen gonna be happy, man. Y'all gonna rejoice by the end of it, all right? Because mm -hmm. you're not gonna be under uh, Esau uh, rulership, man, anymore. Because the whole uh, uh, world is mourning right now. All right, but hey, when the righteous in rulership, people rejoice. The book of Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16, Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversary, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Not just Esau, but your other nations as well. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And don't tell you in, in first Maccabees that, you know, who have a half, who have, who, you know, who have had us as spoils, roughly paraphrasing, and all day they pray upon thee will I give for a prey. So all y'all other days are going to captivity, man, and y'all gonna catch this rod of iron, man. And nothing's gonna be able to stop it. I got something to back you up, brother. This is the book of Jeremiah 49 and 12. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> This is the book of Jeremiah 49 and 12. It says, What thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink up the cup, as assuredly drunken, and art thou, and he that shall altogether go unpunished, thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So everything that we have to go through, you know, Esau Edom is going to uh, have to go through. What's Double. the scripture say? Double? Double. You know? Yeah. <laughs> we had to come soon. Away, huh? Yeah. But this book. <laughs> well, yeah. This the book. This the book of Exodus, chapter twenty-one, yeah. verse twenty-four. Oh. Let's do. Let's go to twenty-four. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burning for burning, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. So y'all gonna beat y'all so, man. So if you did wrong, wrong gonna come back to you. If you did right. Right gonna come back to you, but you know, in y'all heathen's case, man, you other nations, y'all get wrong unto us, man. So y'all gonna get done wrong unto, you know? What goes around comes around like the old saying goes. Y'all gonna drink that cup, man, the drags of it. Hey, this is Sirach 12 and three. It says, there can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, so to him that giveth no bones. I just say, hey, talk, scriptures talk about touch and pitch. And you eat mice, man. Y'all have done the most horrendous, like y'all got something called war crimes, right? Y'all have done all the damn war crimes that you say you can't do. Y'all did the shit. Right? Uh -huh. Everything y'all say you shouldn't do, y'all did it. Right? Y'all dropped the atomic bomb on the, uh, the Ammonites. Right? Which to this day, they still have birth defects and different defects and shit. Hey, this nuclear technology, guess what? Uh, Second Edge 5 talks about that, man. It's, it's gonna be birth defects amongst y'all. Right, when that shit, you know, hits different parts of the earth, it touches the, it, it talks about the water. Right, the, the waters will come together and they, they will be made bitter. Right, that radiation is gonna spread uh, to many places as well. The water's already made bitter. That radiation, what, what Fukushima? Huh. That water came to America. Oh, that water across the California fucked up. Huh. When we get in the kingdom, the earth is going to be replenished. Huh. The earth is going to be refreshed. Yeah. After, after, you know, the Lord got the time limit. The Lord knows how long. All right, but those monsters being born second to five is already happening. Baby. Zechariah uh, chapter 1 verse 15 it says and I am very sore displeased with the heathen now, I said the heathens won't be still getting fucked up I don't think I'll be getting fucked up in the kingdom but we need healthy working bodies huh. that's uh, right 
<laughs> this is uh, Zechariah chapter 1, verse 15. It says, uh, And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped help forward the affliction. Um, <clears throat> and the reason why I brought that out, uh, because um, the heathens are going to go into captivity. Um, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is not going to, uh, basically, he's going to judge you for all the wickedness and afflictions you have put upon us. You know, um, all the atrocities you have committed against uh, his children, the children of Israel. Uh, all right, this is Zechariah 2 and 8. For thus, uh, uh, yeah, for thus said the Lord of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations, which huh. spoiled you. Huh. For he that touched you touched the apple of his eye. For behold, I will shake mine hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil till to their servants. Huh. And you shall know that Yahweh of hosts have sent me. So we're gonna, hey, they're gonna become a spoil to us. We're the servants. All right, we're gonna be on top, they're gonna be on bottom. The first shall be last, the last shall be first. Yep. You know? Yeah, we're gonna uh, receive the curses. They're gonna receive the curses, we're gonna receive the blessings. Uh, written in Deuteronomy 28, one through 14, that's gonna be put on us while they go through the curses that we, we went through 15 through 68. Dope. <laughs> I gotta keep yeah, saying double. that, I gotta keep I got something real quick. Double. This is the double. book of Ezekiel 25 and 13. It says, therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, which is a so-called white man, and I will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from teeming, and, and day of the dawn, they shall, <laughs> shall fall by the sword. Verse 14, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And they shall do an Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shah. The Lord is going to punish Esau either by the hands. Uh, the Lord is going to use his people to do it. With Jacob, with spiritual powers, man. Spiritual powers, and then man, after a right. thousand years, man, y'all going to be eradicated, bro. Oh, yeah, that was an open die, too. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be an easy thousand years, man. Oh, hell no. Come on, man. <laughs> Shoot, the Lord said it's a light affliction for us. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. You see how fast time going about right now? Just imagine the kingdom of heaven. That was going to be in the field. Yeah. No? This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, oh. verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. So, hey, we come in the stead of the Son of Man, which is Yahweh Shai, whom the world it really calls Jesus, right? Verse 3 and say unto it, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. And if you go into the word stretch, like the world was going into, right? You know, the stretch means, hey, I'm going to beat your ass. You know, so that's what the Lord is going to do to Esau Edom. He's going to whoop their asses, you know, by the hand of his people. Verse 5, because thou hast had a perpetual, a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. So y'all had a perpetual, y'all have, y'all have a perpetual hatred towards us, you so-called white people, you know? And y'all always would hate us, man. Y'all destroyed us with the sword, man. Y'all conquered the world with the sword. But y'all beat our asses, man. Y'all raped, robbed, and murdered us, man. You know? Y'all did it on the left hand. We gonna do it to y'all on the right hand. And this this the point right here. Verse 6, therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So man, y'all gonna have no mercy put upon y'all, man. Like it says in James chapter 2, verse 13. Thou hast shown no mercy, man. Which shall, you know, matter of fact, you know, it tells you, it says, you know, they have shown no mercy, shall receive no mercy roughly paraphrasing you see verse 7 that's what i make mount sin most desolate and cut off from it him that passeth out and him that return him. so the lord's gonna make these devil desolate man you know they're gonna be you know put out the earth i got something real quick this is the book of second Ezra six and i'm gonna start at uh seven it says then answer then answer i and said what shall be a part of the son of the times, and when shall be the end of the verse, and the beginning of the that follow? It says, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, 
where Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of that follow. Right, we're at the end of Esau's age right now. You know, this is the final kingdom before the kingdom of heaven is established. You know, the last wicked, wicked kingdom that's, that's going to be upon this earth. You know, this is Esau's last rock. Uh, this is uh, James chapter 2 verse 13 it says for he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy and mercy rejoices against judgment because Esau Edom you know the great Hebrew Edomite he's not going to have mercy in the kingdom uh, not at all um, it's the book of Job it's the book of Job, chapter. It's the book of Job, chapter 27, verse 13. This is the portion of a wicked man with the Most High. And who's the wicked? According to Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4, Esau Edom. You know, and then I told you in Malachi, the whole Malachi chapter 1, all the through, all the way through 4 goes to Esau Edom, you know, that will lay his mountains and his heritage, you know, wasted as the dragons of the wilderness. If you go to the Hebrew word of Esau, which is like Joshua, means wasted away. And the word Edom out of one means red. So, okay, you know, so, man, you know, he's going, you know, hey, the Lord is going to waste this devil, man, in the kingdom. Verse 14, if his children be multiplied, it is for the Lord. Now let me read 13 again. This is the book of Job, chapter 27, verse 13. This is the portion of a wicked man with the most high, and the heritage of oppressors, which they shall receive of the Almighty. Verse 14, if his children be multiplied, it is for the sword, and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. So, you know, these devils gonna get fucked up in the kingdom. Kill left or right, man. You know, and we won't be able to, we, we won't be able, hey, we will, we will not feed these devils hardly, man. But, but to get back to fucking work, man. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his widow shall not weep. And that's happening right now, you know. We getting they women right now. And, and these, you know, and these heathen women, especially Edomite women, want to lay up with Jake. So it's already happening right now, man. You know, how much more in the kingdom? Not just them, the other nations too, brother. Yep. So, you know, that's all I had on that one, you know? Uh, Shaman, anything? Shaman? Uh, real quick, Isaiah 16 and 16. It said, Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breasts of kings, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, I the Lord am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. All right, so all the possessions of these other nations, like you just said, we're going to get them, man. We're going to suck the rest of kings, the gold, the silver, the emeralds, the, the, the everything, man, the daughters. All right, they go, yeah, they're going to want to send their best daughters because they're going to want to be a part of the, the royal line of Israel. All right, but, you know, y'all are not going to be on the same level as the, uh, the, the princess of Israel. All right, but everything, man, the pearl, the clothing, the spices. Everything that is going to be given up to us to enjoy. Right? What, what does it say? Our, our gates will not be closed uh, day or night. They're open continues. Right, they're going to be open continues. And these people are going to continually come unto us uh, with truth. Right? And they, we're going to teach them our ways and they're going to have to understand. It. Which goes back to the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28, you know. They get, we got to go to our enemies for one of all things, right? They're going to have to come to us for one of all things, man. No, they bring their women, bring they, you know, bring their riches, which are their poisons, you know, they everything to us, man, you know, and they burdens, yup. I got something real quick, yeah, because you know right now, Jake is going through it, but yeah, how about Shimei al go, you know, it's going to make Jake perfect in the end, the Lord is going to clear everything up for us, you know, the meat is going to be in slavery, you know, what have you, but on a good note, this is the book of Revelation 21 and 4, it says, and Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, Neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall uh, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. You see Jake going through it right now. If you look at the hoods, you look in the ghettos, you know, Jake is killing them, you know, killing themselves, you know, by the uh what the white so-called white man put in Jake neighborhood. 
you know, the fools is killing our people, different things like that. But what did the scripture say? The former things are passed away. So everything that we see right now is going to pass away. You know, Yahweh Bashi Yahweh is going to make his people perfect, starting with the elect. So are you okay? Are you okay? I got uh, one more. Uh, this is 2nd Ezra 6 and 54. And after these... Did y'all come up with this yet? No. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Uh, second Ezra 6 and 54 and after these Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures of him come we all and the people also whom thou hast chosen all this have I spoken before thee O Lord because thou madest the world for our sakes as for the other people which also come of Adam thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle Actually, this wasn't the scripture I wanted, but it's still good though. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel, man. Hey, man, these other nations are like spit, man. They ain't nothing, man. All right? The Lord loves us, man. All right? We're set, he made us separate from everybody else. We're holy people. Holy means meaning separate, man. All right? And that's what the scripture say. Also, I have seen, uh, I have seen, sir, I believe, I believe this. Yeah, I, be, I have seen, uh, Service on horses and uh, yes, yeah. which we oh, paraphrase. Yeah, yeah, and princes walking in service. Princes on princes walking in service. Yeah, God. you can actually can see a picture of that on Google. Yeah. I believe it's Theodore Roosevelt yeah. or somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. on one yeah. side, yeah. Southern Kingdom on the other side. Yeah. I actually found the scripture. It's in the same chapter. <laughs> uh, this second chapter is six and uh, seven. Uh, then answer I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau, Esau were, uh, were born of him, Jacob's hand first held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Hey man, Esau's in rulership right now, man. The self proclaimed uh, white man. But hey, after him, hey, it's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's uh, kingdom, man. Jacob. All right? And that's it. And that's eternity. So live it up, Esau. You know, you, man. That's why I said the saints shall uh, take the kingdom, possess the kingdom, even forever, even forever. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Before we close, I just want to clarify that second edge is five, you know. Oh, you said yeah. five? Yeah, what the brother said. Nobody got to grab it. Oh. The brother already quoted it. Just, con, scriptures manifold shit. Okay, he just got, he's got a lot of shit to deal with after this destruction. <laughs> Put the game, you chop like I said, you know, after, you know, it's going to be a time period before the Lord, how the Lord, the, the Lord knows how long it'll take for the earth to get cleansed again. I just want to make the clear, you know. Book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 27 In the kingdom and dominion And the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven The whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints Of the most high The Israelites of course You know study with Yahweh Shai King David The 144 the elect Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom And all dominion shall serve and obey him So all these other nations man You know it's gonna It's gonna serve us man And if they don't serve us they're gonna perish Okay, Neo. Salute out. So with that, Lord willing, that was edifying. We would like to give all glory and praises and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakhakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who do real well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom and a bum, bum,